So I'm standing here in the East River, uh, on the banks of the East River in central Colorado, at an elevation of roughly 10,000 feet. I'm standing within the context of a watershed. A watershed really is that defined geographic unit through which water is migrating and interacting with a soil fabric, with a sediment fabric, and the constitutive microbial communities within those components. So understanding how that water and its utilization for a wide range of processes downstream, domestic water uses, irrigation uses, industrial uses such as energy development, etc. How that water is impacted by the upstream watershed scale, catchment scale phenomena is critically important to understand so that use decisions, water use decisions can be made effectively. So one way to approach the study is really to focus on regions that exert an outsized influence on the flow of nutrients and the processing of nutrients within these systems. Well, such locations are referred to as hotspots and periods of time where an outsized fraction of the processing and the activity occurs have been referred to as hot moments. So the journey of a packet of water through the watershed and its interaction with these hot spots during these periods of hot moment activity really constitutes a fascinating journey from the point of infiltration, migration through the soil zone, interaction with the sed sediment fabric, and finally discharge into the river. So what occurs during that cycle? What occurs is that infiltration waters pick up key nutrients and elements critically important for life. That's carbon, that's nitrogen, that's sulfur, that's phosphorus, and other micronutrients. That leached material brought in through passage through the soil zone and sediments then begins to interact with the microbial community in each of these areas. The microbial community has the ability to modify those elements in really, really important ways. They affect their availability to other organisms. They change their solubility. They change the form of those elements in ways that is both positive and detrimental to the greater ecosystem. Once we understand the relationship between the subsurface microbial communities and the functionality that they can catalyze, we can begin to make use of the power of models. The power of models in this context is to make predictions, to make predictions about how climate-induced changes in hydrology may impact the functionality and the processing of elements in their ultimate delivery to the river system. Knowing what factors, particularly in the face of climate change, may impact the reliable delivery and uh, appropriate quality of that water really is at the heart of the studies that Berkeley Lab is pursuing. The multidisciplinary approach of the studies that we're pursuing, we feel, is going to be globally relevant, not just for the Colorado River Basin, but basins throughout the United States and worldwide.